What's up everybody, so this is your host Yasi Nizami and today we're going to talk about the integration between WebEx Calling and WebEx Contact Center that we announced at December event at WebEx One last year. Before we understand Cloud Contact Center, we need to go back a little bit into history to understand uh, when the Cloud Contact Center launched in the market, uh, what kind of business problem it was solving. When the Cloud Contact Center came into the market, it was supposed to be an application that runs in the cloud independent of the underlying PBX telephony. While at the same time, it was giving flexibility and advantages to the enterprises where they can overlay that application on top of any PBX, whether this is a Cisco PBX or a non-Cisco PBX, um, while keeping their enterprise telephony on site to be migrated at a later stage. While fast forward to 2020 and 2021, we saw the pandemic has accelerated the digital transformation and forced enterprises to move calling and contact center to the cloud at the same time. That poses a challenge where we did not have a tighter integration from telephony perspective uh, to provide into the contact center. Hence, we launched this you know, feature at, a, at December WebEx One event where we are bringing WebEx calling and WebEx contact center together with a tight SIP trunk integration in the cloud. It solved three business problems. Number one, where it keeps the call on net from the point it enters into the contact center queue to the point where it is delivered to the agent handset. Without this integration, the call is forced to be routed back into the PSTN so that the PSTN can route the call to the agent handset. That consumes a lot of unnecessary PSTN fronts and hence increase the customer cost. Number two, it allows enterprises to have extension only agents. That saves a lot of costs in terms of consuming DID per agent where you don't really necessarily need that. Number three, it allows enterprises to purchase PSTN from a single source for both contact center as well as web calling agents. It saves a lot of time in terms of, you know, having multiple buying cycles and multiple contracts from different sources and packages and pricing simplifies the buying process overall. So where it is available? Well, today it's only available in the US platform today, but our plans to roll this out in other parts of the region later in the year. So the US platform is covering not only the US based customers, but also they can also support um, the customers in Canada and some part of the Latin areas, as long as the local regulatory requirements are being met and the customers are not bothered about their data being stored in US platform, we can sell the solution to Canadian customers as Latin customers as well. So what PSCN options are available in this solution? Today we can deploy this using three different solutions. Number one, using CCP or Cloud Connected PSTN that allows you to have PSTN purchased from a CCP provider to origin numbers not only on contact center as well as on calling endpoints as well. Number two, if you purchase a WebEx calling from a WebEx calling SP, that also gives you the ability to leverage this integration at the same time. Number three, if you bring your own SIP using a local gateway, that also allows you to leverage the same integration using a PST being trunked into a local gateway all the way to WebEx calling. We have plans to increase these options at a later stage, but today these are, the, these are the three options available if you want to sell contact center and calling together at the same time and use this integration in order to get the benefits of all those business problems that I highlighted earlier uh, to have a seamless experience for the customer. That's it for me now. If you have any more questions, give me a call or text me or email me. Uh, I will be happy to answer. I'll see you in my next video.